for the closure of the borders, it has proven, as of today, counterproductive. The reasons advanced for the closure of these borders did not mitigate any of those reasons advanced. Mr. Speaker, the closure of these borders, because we're, in the border, we're on the borders, pauperized our people. A person with a capital, legitimate capital of 100,000 naira today cannot vouch to say that he has a capital of 1,000 naira because of the closure of the borders. Mr. Speaker, because of the loss of the capital for the, uh, of the people of, on the borders, the level of poverty on these borders is unimaginable. Yeah. Mr. Speaker, can you imagine we have 2,000 villages from 156 local governments from 26 states in the country that are on the borders of this country. And above all, Mr. Speaker, look at, can you imagine the level of crisis of this banditry one of the reasons that was given was importation of arms. Did anything reduce one and a half years back now? And yet these borders are still closed. Above all, Mr. Speaker, it has encouraged extortion, corruption, and criminal and judicial um, extrajudicial killing of our people on the borders by the uh, by the border drill that were established to man these borders while they are being closed i can challenge anybody to go undercover and he will establish this position that i'm making mr speaker thank you mr speaker